What's going on guys? So as you can see I have my 1022 here. This is actually a new series that I'm doing here and this is going to be essentially just a 1022 build. Um, this is my 1022 that I've had for the last three years. This is the 50th uh, anniversary 1022. I'm kind of reluctant to do it on this one but I'm going to do it on this one nonetheless. So before I get any further, it's clear, nothing in the magazine. Cross bolts on safe and nothing in the chamber. So obviously the BX25. So this is a great little shooter. I love it. It's one of my favorite guns to just shoot, just to have fun with. It's uh, you know pretty cheap to shoot uh, 22 LR, and this is a very fun, very accurate little rifle that if you've shot, you know how fun this actually is. But I don't want it the same as every other off the shelf you know 1022 that you can find so of course I'm going to modify it and what I'm gonna do is change it from this to the baby brother of this this is my Remington 700 SPS it's got the hogover over mold stock the 20 inch heavy contoured barrel or the bull barrel if you will it is free floated to an extent you know the hogover over mold stock on the Remington 700s are not amazing it actually does touch the barrel a little bit but on the 1022 this stock is amazing it has the Harris bipods and of course the vortex Viper uh, 6x9 uh, uh, optic on top of it with the Blackhawk rail this is an absolutely wonderful rifle and I kind of want to you know make the little baby brother of the Remington 700 in a 22 and of course, you know, I, I was thinking about buying a bolt action uh, 22 rifle, but I already have the 1022, so I'm just going to do it with that. So I'm not going to tell you exactly what I plan to do with this 1022. Um, you're just going to have to stay tuned and watch my videos as they come out. It's not going to be sequential, it's not going to be back to back, but I will be buying parts occasionally for the 1022 and I will be upgrading it and it will you will be seeing a build of the 1022 to make it look like the Remington 700 that I already have. So with that being said, let me know what you guys think about this build. I think it's going to be fun. You know, uh, I've never really done much work on a 1022 to be honest, but it's not hard to disassemble whatsoever or to reassemble with separate parts um, unless you want to go full custom. And even then, I don't. It doesn't look to be that difficult. So, I'm going to be learning um, how to, you know, do it with this rifle. But it doesn't look very hard. So, uh, I guess we'll, you know, cross that uh, path when we get there. But for now, you know, let me know what you think about this build down below. Really quick, guys. Something I forgot to tell you guys. I have a bunch of Major League Shooter stickers that I am going to be giving out weekly. Um, starting today, of course, is going to be the first day. So if you want a sticker, I'm going to be giving out one per video. Um, and at the very end of each video, I'm going to be announcing who gets a sticker. So basically how it's going to happen is this. Comment down below if you want a sticker. I'm going to be giving away one per video uh, the following week. So basically, if you comment on this video down below that you want, I'm going to be picking out one out of everybody down below. And I will be giving you one free sticker. That will be announced the following week and you will have to be you're gonna be responsible to contact me through YouTube uh, message and I will send you out one for free so definitely do that now comment down below if you want a sticker and I'll catch you guys again later